Hi, I'm Linda Rondonell Osgood, and we're with Department Stories and Virtual Channel Network, and I'm continuing my conversation right now with Beth Hoppy. So, when you go to the movies with friends or you're, you're watching TV or whatever, what do, are you able to concentrate on what's going on in the movie, or does it drive you crazy when something's not... No, no, it's really it. hard to watch. It's really hard to watch, and it's funny because a lot of my friends are in the industry, so we're all watching different things. You know, like I dated a guy who was the lighting guy, and like he would be like, "Oh, look at that light," and I was just like, Shh. "I'm like, I'm looking at the shirt; it's tucked in wrong." And <laughs> and so all of us kind of watch our own department, and you do have to sometimes unfocus um, and try to enjoy the movie, but it is something that is always on my mind now watching things and thinking like oh I can't believe they put her in that and that's terrible <laughs> like fabric and the light is awful on it and so it is tricky it's hard to watch um, and it's especially doing set and working on the soap and doing the continuity that's when I notice things a lot too like the guy will turn around and he'll turn back around and I'll be like his sleeve was down before and now it's up and now he rolled it up and there was nowhere <laughs> that he could have done that and and then you realize that you're so focused on that that I missed like five minutes of the movie. What did he just say? <laughs> and I, yeah, exactly. I'm like, what just happened? I missed it totally. How about so, everyday life too? Like when you go out to dinner or to the movies or something, do you look at people and go, what were they thinking? Constantly. Or you want to like, you know, Yeah, I'm constantly that person or... who wants to like tuck in somebody's tag if it's sticking <laughs> out and it's like my biggest pet peeve and I have to like pull myself back or I want to like tug people's skirts down and... It's just, yeah, it's just like, <laughs> I see like lint on people and I pick it off and it's just... Beth got arrested for pulling <laughs> someone's skirt. It does, it, it, it like encompasses your whole life. And I mean, I've always been interested in fashion since I was little and I've always been a little bit judgmental and like, mm. you know, thinking, what, what was she wearing or didn't she look in the mirror before she went out? But, <laughs> but Well, I think that's what makes you so good and so successful in the industry that I you're in. I pay attention, yeah. yeah. Okay, so when when you're like judging like what colors to put on people, what are some of the considerations that you have? I think every person is totally different. Um, I know, like you know, there's the whole like cool and warm thing. I don't really follow that. I kind mm -hmm. of just you can just tell from looking at a person like what colors look good on them. Like I know, like a lot of blonde girls who are really tan don't look good in like yellow. Or, um, I look horrible in yellow. Yeah. It makes me look green or something. Or, yeah, like, it, make, something it always makes like girls' hair look green when they wear yellow. Um, girls who are dark hair like me, like red, we always look good in. Bright blues. Um, there's a lot of colors you have to stay away from on camera. Like a lot of time, red, it just reads horribly. Um, stripes and patterns like little tiny prints mm -hmm. um it all marays on screen so it just looks fuzzy i've seen that yeah, it's, it's so distracting really, it's really distracting or anything that's too shiny uh -huh. like once the light hits it it can reflect off of the actor's face and wow. then it makes the makeup look off Horrible, yeah. and um i think you know black is always really safe mm -hmm. and flattering and i think when you're doing a film even if it's set in modern day it's it's tricky not to be too trendy mm -hmm. but you don't want it to be you don't you don't want it to be too trendy because people are going to still watch it in five years and you don't want to be so distracted by you know yeah it's like when you watch old 80s stuff and like the women with their huge shoulder pads and it's oh. almost like distract now it's what cool were we watch, thinking in the 80s though I don't and think now shoulder pads are back cool. again and oh. and <laughs> it's hard to you know pull that off without looking Kind of costuming, and yeah. if you're doing something that is supposed to be happening in everyday life, like a soap opera or mm -hmm. you know just a regular movie, it can't look too costumey. It can't look like they just walked out of a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me, Linda. I've enjoyed it, and see you next week.